Come on up here, boy. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Fall is in the air. All the hunters are out. Cleaning up their deer lease. Getting ready for the upcoming deer season. Feeders going up. So guess what? Phone starts ringing. We've had so many calls this week. got pigs got pigs well we're trying to make our rounds but we're back here at the big m hunting club where we caught the pigs last year when uh first dropped with the real link and uh carried on the wild things first time we donated to the hungry link in the description we've been uh been catching a few i got had a phone call about a cow had to catch a cow i'll let colin put that deal in there uh that was his thing somebody from church asked him could we come catch this cow for him well we caught him i'll have to let him tell you about it it was pretty good but we're back at big m and see what we can do for these boys. They uh, they called. He said they hadn't had a pig, or seen any signs of pigs until here recently, and it's been a few weeks before we can get back over here to them. But we pull it in here now. We're finna go set up. And see if we can help these guys out. Well, we uh, we got a call about. Somebody need to catch a cow, a miniature cow. So here we are, gonna sit up on this little miniature cow. We're gonna set the trap up in here. That's where they've been feeding him at. Got a few signs of him coming in here. Can't get your hands on him. Anyway, we're gonna get set up on him. I'll let you know how it turns out. Alright, the first day the little cow showed up. Well, I don't know what happened, but we didn't know that the camera went off but he came in there and in those buckets right there there's some water and there's a little hay and they had been feeding him every day and once or twice a day he would come up there and get him some water and get him a little bite of hay and we figured this was a good spot to set up on him the next day he shows right up comes right in there and gets him a drink of water about lunchtime, we dropped the gate on him. He wasn't very active. He just turned his water over and like, huh, what was that? So Colin let the land, let the owner of the little cow know that we had caught him and they came and got him out. I don't know how big this little cow was. I wasn't there or neither one of us was there we caught him and the landowner came and got him and we came and got our trout if you look right here in this next frame that gate is 40 inches tall eight foot long so that kind of tells you how big this little cow is but he's a little miniature cow we got him all right we loaded up head to the next one 
This one's gonna be on our own land this time. Can't even deer hunt for the hogs. It's all right, we got a way to fix it. Yeah. This is a kind of old, our neighbors just planted a ryegrass field here. And we try to hunt around the edge of this, and we got pigs everywhere. Want me to check the connection on the gate? We got plenty of good helpers today. All right, gate's hitting something. Is it hitting that pole? Uh -huh. Is it hitting the panel? It hit on my side. All right, here we go. Take two. I'm going to fall. <laughs> I always turn it off. Remember what he said right here. It was the camera was stuck. Got her all baited up finally, got all the bugs worked out of it. Got us plenty of help here today. Educating. Even got old Bella with us. All right, we're gonna see what happens. Where's he going? Check his camera. I've been baiting this spot for deer hunting uh, on our neighbor's place. They run cattle out here and uh, I hunt on the back side of their woods. Pasture just, just right through there, that's where the trap's at. I fed a whole 50 pound sack of rice bran and corn yesterday. They didn't came in here. They started coming in at four yesterday evening. And uh we got some good ones. They're coming from this backside. We got a bunch. I don't know that exact count on it. But it's it's over twenty of them. And they're good sized pigs. So uh we're gonna see what they uh how long it's gonna take and we're gonna get them caught and get them out of here. They just planted this whole field, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna make it right. Okay, you see what time it is? Seven thirty. Seven. We left. We met up that evening at two o'clock. We set this trap up. We left the trap about three. These boys called that morning and said we're going to set this trap up I said no no let's wait I'll have a trap freed up they said no we're setting it up today it's the only time we got to do it so they outvoted me on this one and then we, I told them it'd be three days for we got to drop the gate and at 730 I still had no intentions on dropping this gate because I didn't have any idea how many pigs we had but we watched these pigs for about two hours in this trap three of us did 
going back and forth, looking at trail camera pictures that we've had, which was about 60 to 100 yards into the woods there where we were hunting or where Colton was hunting. And he'd been feeding them for a month or better. And it got so bad that there wasn't even no deer coming in. And we knew there was a spotted boar and one big boar in this group. And we finally decided later on that night that we probably just need to go ahead and drop on what we had, knowing there was another boar on the outside. So, there were several times they run out, and finally they all got back in there, and that's when we decided it was probably best we just go ahead and drop it. So Colin made the call, moved the reel link up, service was bad at this location, and we couldn't get the camera to move back down. It took a while, I tried, Colton tried, Colin tried, we didn't, we just didn't have the service. We was able to move it, and at this point, we didn't even know if we caught them. But we could hear them still ramming around in there, so we knew we had them. And finally, we got the camera back down, and there they are. So, we missed the whole running around in the trap due to service. Uh, I was at this, we didn't get to see hardly any of this. We was able to get it off the camera when we got it to where we had good service. got the camera situated back and we was able to take a good look at the pigs that we caught and we got the big boar but no spotted pig but y'all need to keep watching what happens next cause it's fixing to get good Proved me wrong. We set this trap up about two o'clock yesterday. And they came in. What time we drop it about eight thirty? Eight fifty. Eight fifty four. Yeah, eight fifty four. And we got them. We're gonna go in there and see. Colt been pre baiting these on us for about a month, trying to deer hunt. And I figured it'd take us two or three days before we drew them. What about? 50 yards, 60 yards from the... Yeah, something like that. Really far. But I don't understand why these pigs ain't tore up this freshly plowed ryegrass field. I guess the ground's too hard. Because fall has arrived. It's cold this morning. And those 100 degree days are over with. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Don't move. Make sure you hit him. You got that on me? <laughs> well, you know I did. <laughs> I believe you hit him the first time. Yeah. That's that boy. All right. It's going to make me as well as I thought it was. Y'all keep your eye on Shaggy. That's a big sucker. Hey, boy. Look at there. He ain't as big as y'all think he is, though. He's doing really good. 
No, I ain't ready. Come on up here, boy. He's a stout son, you know. I don't know if you're sitting on that little drop. I'm just supposed to say it's fresh stuff. Hoggies. Uh-huh. Hoggies. That'll be good enough. That one I'll be good enough. Uh -huh, it is easy. It is a lot easier than putting paper with gas. <laughs> Ain't nothing like good help. I always got to bring good help with you. You look at the big one, gas, look at the big one. Oh, kick him out the way so you can look at his toothless. He's good. Back again. Wild things. Sounds really. Got 
184 on the dot. 184. Yeah, 183.8. There it is. 182. Well, got this one stacked down. Y'all don't get any footage of this one because we wasn't successful here. But we're going to close this video out. Uh, we was able to catch the 22 at Colton's spot on the ryegrass field. Wheat field. Wheat field, I'm sorry. Uh, ended up shooting one on the outside and got uh, all the rest of them, 21 of them, in in about six and a half hours, which is crazy. We put that trap up at 2 o'clock and was able to, we dropped it before 9 that night. So, anyway, we're going to stack it down, stack this trap here down for a little bit. And deer season finally get started. But I appreciate y'all watching. And thank y'all for the support. Like, subscribe, hit that bell. you get notifications. If you want to support the channel, hit the super like, super thanks button. Until next time, we're Fountain Farms. See y'all. Mm -hmm.